Hello everybody. Well, gas prices have gone up again since the last time I made a trip to Walmart, which was a few days ago. But my wife wanted to make some strawberry preserves or strawberry jam and didn't have a couple of items and so she asked if I would go. And so just because it's raining, you know, if you love somebody, you, you do what they ask you to do. And so off to Walmart. And so I'm just about to enter Walmart and the interesting thing today is that when I entered uh, a Walmart employee approached me and and asked if I was going to use a credit card well, look at these empty bins oh my and uh, they said that the system was down or not working just right and suggested that if I didn't have cash or a check uh, that it might not be a good idea to uh, to try and buy anything today. Oh, look at this empty area. I don't know what they were selling here, but it's it's all empty, isn't it? So that just got me to thinking about uh, what will happen if all of a sudden your credit cards or your debit cards just didn't work. Huh, have you thought about that? Here's some bananas and some small melons. But I've come for just, well, look here, there, here they are, some green apples, a couple of green apples, and $1.58 a pound, and a couple of lemons. Now, that's all I need. So I've got the apples. Let me grab the lemons. They look, well, I guess they're all right. I'm glad that they have some in stock. So two lemons and two green apples. That's a pretty easy shopping list. But uh, while I'm in here, uh, well, let me just uh, look at a couple of other things. There's plenty of, of oranges and uh, the lemons were 66 cents each. And uh, so anyway, it's pretty crowded today. There's some pineapple. Uh, oh yes, and what I was saying, the main point of this video is about having cash that uh, what would you do or what would I do if for some reason some technical glitch or whatever the case uh, the credit cards didn't work at the gas station or didn't work at the grocery store or your debit card didn't work you know, would you have some cash you know, where you could buy some groceries and I wanted to check the milk because uh, the milk prices are going up here's a store name brand six dollars and fourteen cents six dollars and fourteen cents and then the store brand is 479 and another uh, regular brand is 544 a gallon is what is listed but if you didn't have uh, cash uh, you might be in a, a, a world of trouble you could have all the money you need in the bank but if you can't use your card well uh, they wouldn't take your card uh, hopefully you could write a check but don't you think it's a good idea to have some cash on hand? And I think that it is. I think it's a great idea to have a, a small reserve or a larger reserve of cash at your home. Let me check out with my two lemons and two apples and we'll head back out and, and get in the car. But that's the main point of this video today, this rainy day, is that it's a good idea to have some cash reserves somewhere at, at, at your home to have some cash on you just in case those credit cards uh, aren't accepted or don't work for whatever reason. Anyway, here's the final product. Do you like strawberry preserves? Uh, we like them around here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye now.